Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be ranking every single one of the brand new, or I have the best power forwards in NBA 2K24, my team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. And let's discuss. Um, we've got ourselves about 30 of the best power forwards in my team on this list. And and um, I will say a lot of these guys are going to be on the center tier list as well. Unfortunately, the power forward centers just have a lot of run um, carryover, I should say, at this point in the year. So keep that in mind. But a guy like, for example, a Serge Ibaka to start off the list. I want to put him S tier, but I can only put five or six guys in S tier. And I don't think I can give him that spot. Now, he's amazing. He's an elite free card with a super nice release, but his only flaw is that he's six foot ten. That's really his main flaws. Behind the back could be better as well. As a whole, though one of the best free power forwards in the game really nice release elite defender just not incredibly big but overall i think he's a good card uh, definitely a big fan of him and the a tier bull bull is not s tier anymore to me either i think his release isn't that incredible i know he's 7-2 but his jump shot this year is not unbelievable it's easy to green i get it i just don't think it's elite and i think as a whole he's not an exceptional card himself like he's not bad bobo's still really good he has great sigs he's 7-2 you can't argue with that type of size but at the same time, the release could be better. I would go A. Wimby has to be S, despite the fact his release is not that incredible. Well, when you look at this list, is is this Wimby S tier? This Wimby, I mean, he's is he top five? He might not be. I'm putting him A tier. This might be a crazy, crazy statement. I might move him back up to S. He might be the last guy in S tier, but I know there's a couple guys I like more than him in the S tier. Um... The A tier is going to be really stacked in this list, though. I mean, a guy like Cat, I don't love his release, but his everything else is really good. Like, I think he's a dog, too, honestly. I think you could argue Cat A tier for sure. It's just there's a lot of good cards on this list. And for right now, I feel like I got to put some of these guys lower on the list. So a guy like Cat, high B. I think D Rob's better than Wimby. I understand Wimby 7-4. D-Rob's release is better and his SIGs are better. As a whole, he's just... D-Rob is one of the best 100 overalls in this entire game. They gave him Jamal Murray behind the back. He's got God-tier SIGs, um, and he's got an exceptional release as well. D-Rob is an exceptional 7-foot-1 power forward. I think he's really good. Wimby's... Or Chris Chet is B-tier. I think he's a worse version of Bull Bull. His SIGs are not truly elite, and his release is also not incredible, and he's an inch shorter. He is a very, very similar card to Bull Bull in a lot of ways, and I think putting him B-tier is totally fair. Hakeem also goes b tier to me release could be a little better he's very similar in all honesty to just a better stat and badge wise version of his opal definitely a very good card still but i think also not amazing Embiid is worse than all these guys i think he's c tier i'm not that very high on Embiid at this point in the year i mean considering these are the best of the best i just don't think Embiid is very strong his release could be better his sigs are not top tier he's just not amazing at the power forward position and i think he's c tier tim duncan has patty mills base that's about all that needs to be said about that best base in the game absolutely elite level jump shooter catch and shoot um he has one of the he has the best release of any card in this list yes he's only 610 but he's got good sigs as well he's an absolute dog and a top tier power forward in my team for sure um goat wimby goat wimby should be in his own tier basically that card is so much better than every other power forward in this list it's not even fair they gave him perfect sigs at seven foot four and an exceptional release i don't even know what you say about that to be completely honest he is one of the best cards in the history of my team period not just this year and he's the most overpowered card in the game for sure obviously s tier and honestly like i said i think he could deserve his own slot and i'd be totally fine with that kp's a tier i'm not going s tier with him just like i'm not going s tier with wimby and bull bull as good as he is this kp specifically is not an s tier power forward anymore a little bit on the slower side um really nice release but not much in terms of shot creation i'd still go a tier though i think he's very solid i just he's not s tier anymore ad is probably a tier to me 100 overall ad is really good but his release could be a little better that'd be my main critique he's only 610 he's a very dang good card no doubt about it but among the best of the best low a tier is the furthest i can put him honestly um Dikembe is obviously S tier to me as well. Seven foot two with an amazing release. He's just one of the best free cards in my team. There's only a few incredibly top tier, best of the best free cards. Dikembe is my Matembo is 100% one of them. Whether it be power forward or center, he is an absolutely exceptional card. KG is missing a great release and everything else about him is awesome. Yes, he's got great sigs, great stats, great badges. He is an incredible card, but his release is not very good. I will go B tier for him, but I'm not going any higher than that. I like KG. But if his release is better, I would like him a lot more than I do. Kevin McHale, 
Look, this list is the... I mean, it's really strict. I have to put a couple guys in D tier, and Kevin McHale's release really stinks, and I'll have to get at least a few guys in the D tier. Kevin McHale's going to be one of them. His jump shot just is not good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He's 7'2", yes, but his release is not great. Neither are his SIGs. He is a worse card than KP and Bulbul. Is he C tier? That feels a little low for his size, but I, yeah, no, he's got great speed, great badges. His release could be better, but I'll go B for him. Shaq's not S tier to me. I don't care that he's a GOAT card. I think the bias you can put him is... I, as crazy as it is to say, I want to put Shaq in B. Because here's the thing. He's too heavy to do a behind the back. He is, his release is bad. I mean, downright bad. Even with Ben Shepard based on his GOAT card, it is a bad release. I am putting GOAT Shaq in B tier. That is going to be an unpopular opinion. I get it. I don't think he's very good. I think his movement is not incredible either, honestly, for a GOAT card. Although very good. But his release sucks. It does. And that kills the card. 100 overall, KP is one of the best cards in the game. He might be the best power forward in the game. Not named Goat Wimby. He is absolutely insane. Obviously S tier. I hope I'm able to get a gameplay with him soon because I haven't been able to yet. And he is an absolutely incredible card. So if y'all pulled KP, be willing to do a gameplay. Let, or if you'd be willing to let me do a gameplay, DM me on Twitter because I'd love to get a gameplay with that KP card in the next day or two. He looks absolutely phenomenal. Kwame Brown is a worse Serge Ibaka, in my opinion, I'm moving uh, KG down. KG does not deserve to be high this high, I don't think, right now. Kwame's release is exceptional. He is better than KG for sure, in my opinion, by the way. Um, Kwame's really good. Amazing release. Pretty good sigs. I think he's very, very solid. And I think all the guys in B tier are still very good. So that's where he deserves to go. Shaq, this Shaq has a 75 three ball and a bad release. He's going D tier. I'm not even complaining. I think he goes D tier. I think that's totally fair. Bill Russell, as much as I like Bill Russell, his player build isn't particularly good. His release could be a bit better. He's got a little bit of a lower base three ball. He's got very good six. He's still a very good card, but on the list this deep and this strong, again, I'm going C tier with him. DeMarcus Cousins, same book, not top tier six, not a top tier release. He's not a bad card, but again, I'd go C tier for him. Patrick Ewing's jump shot is terrible. He's honestly kind of an easy D tier in my opinion. I don't even really have to think about that one. He definitely goes D tier. Um, Moses Malone is basically Anthony Davis. They're pretty much the same card uh both of them biggest flaw really only flaw is not having an elite level release but both of them have solid releases and i think both deserve to be in the a tier george mikan is super solid i'd go b tier for him great catch and shoot big um very nice release solidly athletic can put the ball on the floor a little bit he's lower b tier but he is still probably b tier in my opinion kareem's release makes me want to put him c tier and i think i'm going to just to even out the list a little bit because thurman has to go a tier by the way abaka I don't think he can go. I feel like he has to go B. I just feel like I need to move guys down a little bit almost. I don't even, like Chet, I want to put him in C now. I'm not even totally sure. Hakeem's release isn't that great. Neither of his SIGs. We're moving Hakeem down. I'm trying to even out this list just a little bit. And I think this is fair. 100 overall Shaq's release is just as bad as normal Galaxy Opal Shaq. It is one of the worst releases in the game at this point in the year. I'm putting him in the C tier and I'm not even apologizing for it. And then Dirk Nowitzki. I think he has better SIGs than 100 overall Shaq, and his release is a little bit better as well. I still think he's one of the worst 100 overalls, but he's not the worst, and he's still a very solid 100 overall card. I mean, I think he deserves to go B tier. And this this feels more right, honestly. I don't know who I would move into the D tier if I wanted to stretch more guys out. I'm sure I could find a couple of worse cards to put on the list just so I have a couple more D tiers. But as a whole, this feels pretty right. I know the C tier is real low on some good cards still, but like... There's a lot of good power forwards, man. I guess, I don't know. Kareem feels weird being in C tier. He feels like a B tier car, but then it's like B tier is too big. And then Hakeem doesn't fit in the C tier if I do that. And it's like, uh, I think I'm leaving it like this. I think I'm leaving it like this. And if y'all disagree with me, that's totally fine. But I just, release is really important to me, number one. Size is really important to me, number two. If you have a bad release and bad SIGs, it's automatically going to push you down a bit. And a lot of the cards in C and D tier have at least one of those things, if not both. So... That is good for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.